Hare Krishna. Uh, today uh, I'll be uh, talking on the need to avoid prajalpa in all circumstances. So what is prajalpa first of all? Prajalpa means talking nonsense. I'll be reading from my notes that I have made from uh, reading by reading various books like Bhakti Rasa Amrit Sandhu and uh, Updesh Amrit of Srila Prabhupada. So, we assemble and go on talking for nothing, neither for this life, neither for that life. We should not talk. Suppose if we are gaining something materially, we may go on talking. Or if you are gaining something spiritually, we may talk. But if there is no gain, simply wasting time, that should not be done. Atyahar prayasascha prajalpo niyamagraha. Niyamagraha means simply stick up to the rituals. Just like people, in every religion, there are some rituals. In our Hindu religion, the people are advised to observe certain uh, some ceremonies. In every religion, the same system is there. Uh, either you go to the temple or the church or uh, to the mosque. Similarly, there are different systems. And uh, But if one is simply sticking to the system without seeing how much progress I am making in my life, then that is waste of time. It is said here and that is called Niyamagra, simply observing the rules. And Niyamagra also means that you should not neglect uh, all the also the rules you should not neglect rules and regulation and uh, uh, we have been uh, told to follow uh, the regulatory principles and chant 16 rounds and uh, uh, read the books so we should not neglect the rules and regulations so atyahara prayasascha prajalpo niyamagraha laulyam in, this is from Nectar of Instruction and Alolam means to be greedy and you should not be uh, greedy that I want so much, I want so much, I want so much. You don't not like that. Atyahar prayasascha, atyahar prayasascha prajalpo niyamakraha. Laulam and janasangascha, janasangascha means the, persons who are not, the person who is not interested in spiritual matter, we should not associate with them. This should be, they, like these are the six things which um, you know they retrocate the progress of spiritual life and uh, other um, things um, are there there are many other things but uh, if we understand uh, the need to avoid prajalpa and you know uh, try practicing remaining silent and provoking times then it will be really helpful uh, to all of us those who are on this walking on the spiritual path and Shila Prabhupada has also mentioned in one of uh, his uh, letters to his disciple about uh, what effect does a prajalpa have on uh, uh, the spiritual progress of a practitioner so uh, the it has a very debilitating effect he said that and one may weaken uh, in spiritually and uh, the whole process is about getting some spiritual strength by reading the books memorizing the shlokas speaking only bhagavatam uh, shlokas with each other whenever people two people meet uh, so that you know the gossip is avoided and the unnecessary talk that goes on is cut and uh, we are uh, making more meaningful, meaningful rapport with each other having good conversations on the bhagavatam uh, leelas of bhagavan shri krishna etc so if we are doing both simultaneously then um, it's not that beneficial. Either you choose one. If you want to do prajalpa, then do prajalpa and sit in a side. Don't go to the uh, spiritual area with both sides. You have to choose one of it. So it's better that we try understanding the importance of uh, reducing this unnecessary talk, which is just gramya katha, as I said, gossiping. So we must avoid gossiping in all conditions um, and, uh, not <clears throat> and not speak anything meaningless and uh, by with practice only this is going to happen and uh, you'll see, you'll make how far you have come after practicing and you will see that today I practiced to reduce the prajalpa and I did succeed till the evening and uh, I made uh, 10 unnecessary talks but today as I practice I saw that they were all not at all necessary not even one of them and like this um, 
you can daily make a, a you know a report of your own uh, practice and then see for yourself what difference it brings into your life because this is a instruction from the spiritual master the acharyas so definitely if we follow this they'll surely help us hari krishna